Hello dear students and welcome to this video. In this video, I will talk about the main ideas that I will cover in week 9 for the pre-calculus course. In this week, we will start with a new topic which is statistics. First, we will talk about uh, how to find the probability of a certain set after we find all the outcomes of a certain experiment. After that, we will talk about the independence of two events. Two events are independent, f and only f. The probability of A to section B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. Then we will use this property to solve some world problems. After that, we will talk about the conditional probability. Conditional probability, it's a probability that if one of the pro uh, events are given in the question. Probability of A given B or A conditional B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Using the independency rule, if two events are independent, then the conditional probability, probability of A, given B is equal to probability of A. After that, we will talk about the counting principle, which is the principle that's used to find all the numbers of outcomes of a certain experiment. After that, we will talk about uh, permutation. In mathematics, a permutation of a set is, loosely speaking, an arrangement of its members into a sequence or linear order or if the set is already ordered, a rearrangement of its elements. The word permutation also refers to the act of process changing the linear order of an ordered set. For example, if we have the set 1, 2, 3, there are six permutations of the set. The six permutations are 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. Using this principle, we will solve and find the number of elements using permutation, and we will know when the question is going to be about permutation or something else called combination. Thank you for listening, and I can't wait to see you in the class.